Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to today's video. We have another hidden gem video. You guys seem to really enjoy last time where I did uh, Marco. There'll be a link to that video at the end of the uh, end of this video if you're interested in seeing who my previous hidden gem was. But today we've got Widge. Now I call him Widge, uh, you know, it looks like his name's Widge Naldum, but I don't want to mispronounce it. So for the sake of uh, this video, he's going to go by the name Widge. So Widge goes for about 654 coins on the Xbox and 470 and before you guys start saying you can't buy them for 654 this is just the average price taken over several different um, di uh, different purchases throughout his time on the market his card weight is high so he is he, is, he does appear quite often on the market and with impacts but uh, he's not one of those ones where there's literally tons and tons and tons of pages of him unfortunately there is no trading graph for today the site which I usually use doesn't have trading graph form for whatever reason so I just decided I'd show you guys what team I used to used to make so he plays obviously in the Eredivisie, in a Eredivisie side, so I decided I'd just make an entire team around that. You got that center attacking mid, and I do occasionally try and play him as striker because that's probably one of the biggest tips I can give you guys with uh, Widge, is that he probably plays better as a striker than he does center attacking mid, and I'll let you guys know in a little bit why exactly I say that. But as far as that particular team goes, it's not an amazing squad. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it to people. There's a ton of players in there who I just seriously would not recommend whatsoever. But there we go. There is the first point and the main point of the video. If you guys want to rewind back to that goal there, this guy's finesse shot is insane. He has 86 pace and it feels far more than that. His strength feels you know, pretty incredible. He feels kind of like the Lukaku of, um, what do you call it, of this particular league. Uh, but he just feels a little bit more nippy. He's got four-star skills, and he, he just... Wow, I'm really impressed. So I saw tons of comments on my last video saying, you know, Cal, try him out, stuff like that. And to be honest with you, I really did put it off quite a bit and actually get there a lucky deflection. But uh, yeah, you know, I put it off a little bit and then I was like, right, okay, I just really want to try him. I hadn't found too many other hidden gems. So I, was, I just decided I'll go ahead and do that. And wow, I'm so glad I listened to you guys and you guys know so much in the comments. So again, if you want to do the same and leave a comment of who your particular um, hidden gem is, then feel free to tell me. It doesn't have to be, a, it can be a gold, silver, bronze, whatever, just let me know. Um, I'm all open to suggestions. But this guy's shot is pretty sweet. Um, I've hit the post far too many times with him. That's probably what drives me crazy the most about him, is the fact that he, his shots just, they, they're so good, but at the same time, they always seem to hit the post. And that's why, unfortunately, there are no long shots. But whenever I shoot with him, I feel as though, you know, there's always, you know, when you ha just have that thing in your mind, like, oh my God, this could be going in, all that stuff. Well, that's how I feel with this chap. Although it always just hits the post so the keeper just gets a tip to it, which it really is a shame. And uh, I would have loved it. I would have absolutely loved it um, if some of them had gone in because they were some really nice goals in there. But hopefully these ones do the job as well. I mean, here's probably uh, an example of what sort of shot he's got on him. I mean, that's a rocket into the left-hand side. Um, that my biggest issue with him for me has got to be the fact that he gets injured very easily. Um, I've played I've played quite a few games with him now, and to be honest with you, at l maybe one every two games he's injured or something. And we all know injuries in FIFA Ultimate Team drive me myself, and I know you guys crazy there. A nice little fake fake roll, but fake ball roll, and uh, he managed to get himself a free kick. As far as free kicks go, I wouldn't recommend him. I consider myself to get pretty lucky on this free kick here. Um, it's a nice free kick, but I would definitely say it was a lucky one. So as far as Widge goes, I mean for 600 coins, what a god. He fits really nicely into um, some sort of Dutch or Netherlands side. I know that Eredivisie isn't a popular league, although if you're contemplating making a team with it, then uh, he should most certainly be in it. And I want to thank you guys for giving me such an awesome player to do a hidden gem on. The good, like I said, his finesse shot is out of this world. The bad is his passing can be inconsistent, and that kind of it kind of annoys me about a center attacking mid. You know, you have the likes of Ozil, who's got really good finesse shot, but also fantastic passing, and that's kind of what Widge lacks, um, is good passing at center attacking mid. That's why playing him at striker might be really, really useful. The ugly is that he is very injury pr prone, and that is... Uh, 
that is a big letdown for me. But nevertheless, he is still an absolutely hidden gem. If you can keep him fit and healthy, he will do wonders for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then leave me a like, all that fun shenanigans. Show me support that you guys are liking this hidden gem series. And most of all, what I enjoy the most is leaving you guys leaving a comment and letting me know who you'd like to see next on this hidden gem series. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching. I do appreciate it. And, uh, you know, there's two videos. The one on the left-hand side there was my previous hidden gem series with Marco, um, a Bundesliga striker. And then on the right hand side, we have yesterday's video, which was a formation frenzy. If you guys haven't already seen that, obviously, if you're not subscribed to me, feel free to click subscribe. And uh, my t-shirts actually arrived today, which is pretty cool. Uh, they arrived in the post. So I'm currently wearing one now in boxers. So uh, don't, well, don't try and envision that. That'd be pretty, pretty dirty. But uh, yeah, that, that'll do it for today. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.